20-year-old Nagesa Annette was preparing to compete at the London Olympics when she was told her blood tests revealed testosterone levels that were considered too high by World Athletics, then known as the IAAF. She says she was told she must have surgery or could no longer compete. They told me there is no danger in it. They told me just a few weeks you will go back to your, your career. Nagesa was raised as a girl and was born with external female genitalia. Surgery removed her internal testes, but she says she didn't give informed consent and was left with lasting mental and physical pain. There is a time when I reached where I was feeling like I, I take suicide, I suicide myself. Dr Payoshni Mitra campaigns for the abolition of sex testing policies in sport and has helped Nagesa and other female athletes with differences in sex development. We were able to interview 13 athletes from across Africa and Asia. That means that there are quite a few of them who are uh, facing, um, you know, who are impacted by these regulations. And this is only track and field. Nagesa was consulted by the IOC in the creation of its framework aimed at making the Olympics more inclusive for transgender athletes and athletes with sex variations. But World Athletics still prevents women from competing in certain events if their testosterone levels exceed their benchmark. Give everybody her right to do the sport, yeah, because we are all humans. World Athletics has strongly denied having any involvement with Nagesa's treatment. Amanda Shalala, ABC News, Sydney.